welcome to Jax News. I'm Greta Gady. SDSU launched a new 3D interactive campus map this week. The map shows renderings of buildings included interactive information on each site. The site also includes parking and ADA access information. More features will be added in the coming weeks and months. To see the map, go to the Tools and Quick Links area on the top of all sdstate.edu web pages and click on the Maps and Directions link. A new scoreboard is coming to the north side of Dykehouse Stadium. Students Association Senator Trinity Peterson pushed the bill into passing, bringing up the importance of a game day atmosphere for all students. Not being able to see the score, the stats, the videos that everyone had worked so hard to put together kind of put a little bit of a damper on my experience, especially when I started to think about those students that may um, be in wheelchairs who might not be able to see at all, even with turning around. The new scoreboard will be smaller than the South scoreboard and cost under a million dollars. There is no estimate on when the scoreboard will be installed. The fall 2003 schedule for national champion Jack's football team is out. The season kicks off on September 2nd with a home game against the University of Western Oregon. The Jacks will then hit the road for their next two games, playing Montana State at Target Field in Minneapolis, then facing off against Drake University Bulldogs. The Hobo Day matchup this year is with the University of Northern Iowa on October 14th. The Jacks host North Dakota State this year in the Dakota Marker game on November 4th. SDSU will wrap up the regular season on November 18th against the Missouri State Bears. The South Dakota State women's basketball team won the Summit League regular season title for the ninth time since joining the league in 2007 and the fourth in the past five years with a 79-48 victory over South Dakota. SDSU is undefeated in conference play at 14-0. SDSU had a balanced attack and a strong defensive effort in their win, with four players scoring in double figures and ten players contributing at least three points. SDSU's defense held South Dakota to 30% shooting, while the Jacks shot an impressive 50% from the floor and connected on nine three-pointers. The victory marked another impressive achievement for the SDSU women's basketball program, and they are expected to continue their success as they head towards the conference tournament. The Jacks baseball team opens the 2023 season on Friday, February 17th at Little Rock, Arkansas. The team is picked to finish fourth in the upcoming Summit League baseball race by the league's seven head coaches. SDSU seniors Luke Ira and Ryan Bereza are on the Summit League players and pitchers watch list. We spoke with some seniors about their thoughts going into their last season. Yeah, I think I'm really excited about just spending one more year with the boys and, uh, you know, building those friendships that could last a lifetime. We've got a lot of talent coming back in this year, and I think we have a ton of experience. So I think we're going to do well on the field and just looking to win, looking at getting a conference championship and just playing my heart out. Um, basically, just being on the road with all my buddies that I've made over the past five years, and those are some of the best memories that I'll ever have. Play begins on March 24th at Northern Colorado with the four-team Summit League Baseball Championship May 24th and 27th in Fargo, North Dakota. That's all for Jack's News this week. Thanks for watching.